Kina. Kani Kapu. Kani Kapu. Good morning. Welcome to the commencement ceremony, celebrating students who are graduating in the summer and fall terms of 2020 and the spring and summer terms of 2021 in the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. My name is Chip Fletcher, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and I want to personally welcome each of you to this important event. We will begin with a land acknowledgement from Professor Rosie Alagado. Aloha. Today, as we come together to celebrate the milestone of graduation for our students and mark the achievements of our faculty and staff, it is critical that we acknowledge the Aina, this piece of earth which feeds us intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, as well as literally and the Kanaka Oivi, the indigenous people of Hawaii. To recognize the land is an expression of gratitude and appreciation to those whose aina you reside on, and a way of honoring the indigenous people living and working on the land from time immemorial. Our institution, the University of Hawaii at Manoa, is a land-grant university located on ceded lands. The land-grant university system established by the Morrell Act of 1862 funded higher education directly through the seizure of 11 million acres of indigenous lands. And therefore, while we appreciate the value of extension services in fostering relationships between universities and communities, we must also recognize that the foundation of this system is set in violent colonialism. What are ceded lands? The US Congress has acknowledged that the 1893 overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom was illegal and a violation of international law. The U.S. Congress further conceded that the annexation of the Hawaiian Islands five years later, which involved the ceding of 1.8 million acres of lands, now known as the ceded lands, was without the consent of or compensation to the Native Hawaiian people of Hawaii or their sovereign government. It's important to understand the long-standing history that has brought us to be learning and residing on these lands and to seek to understand your place, our place, my place within that history. Colonialism is an ongoing current process, and we need to build our mindfulness of our present participation. We must continually ask ourselves, what is our continued kuleana or responsibility to these lands and to the Kanakawivi people? Mahalo. Thank you, Rosie. Aloha and welcome to this celebration in recognition of the graduates in the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, as Rosie introduced. My name is Brian Taylor, and I am the Dean of the school. To the graduates, congratulations. You made it. We are proud of you and what you have accomplished including some of you being the first 
university graduates in your family. To your family, friends and mentors with us today, albeit virtually, thank you for joining us in this occasion. And thank you for all that you have done over the years to help the graduates get to this moment. And to Kapa'ala Sprout, UH Professor of Law and Director of the Kahuli Au, thank you for sharing your words of wisdom later in the program. Thank you, Brian. We'd like to take a few minutes to share some special recognition and awards. The Jabmandas Watamul Scholarship Funds were established to assist meritorious students in earth sciences or oceanography. This award is given each year to an outstanding graduate with a desire to improve self and profession. This year, the recipient is Kyle Connor from Oceanography. Congratulations, Kyle. The achievement rewards for college scientists, known as ARCS Foundation, provides scholarships to excellent doctoral students in oceanography and earth sciences, among many other disciplines. The Ox Foundation Honolulu chapter has provided nearly $2 million in unrestricted awards to hundreds of fledgling scientists who would seek to understand our world, improve our lives, protect our environment, and create new technologies. From the inner workings of living cells to the composition of the farthest galaxies, their work continues to expand our horizons. The George Orton and Mona Marie Elmore Arcs Award in Oceanography was awarded to Jesse Perlman. Her research focuses on the ecology and behaviors of deep ocean animals in a targeted deep sea mining region, the Clarion Clipperton Zone, to help inform the development of marine protections in this area. From the Ocean and Resources Engineering Department, Nicholas Ohm was selected to the Koenig Foundation Arcs Award in ocean engineering. His research focuses on how wave energy devices can be integrated with an autonomous underwater vehicle docking station to enable marine resident AUVs. Nicholas hopes to help our society achieve a new era of ocean observing while maintaining a low carbon footprint. This year, the Toby Lee Arcs Award in Earth Sciences was awarded to Kiara Ferrari Wong. Kiara is searching for organic compounds on the moon using NASA infrared telescope facility and is currently calibrating the instrument aboard the Hawaii Space Flight Laboratory's space flight uh, spacecraft called HiT or the Hyperspectral Thermal Im Imager. The Ox Foundation Scholar in Atmospheric Sciences is Dylan Dodson. His research interests are focused on turbulence and boundary layer meteorology. Specifically, he studies cloud droplet clustering, which affects cloud lifetime and size and rainfall. This research will help refine climate modeling. Congratulations to all the Ox awardees, Jesse, Nicholas, Kiara, and Dylan. The Agaton T. Abbott Award is given to an outstanding Earth Sciences senior undergraduate each year. Agaton T. Abbott was one of the founding professors of the Department of Earth Sciences from the 1950s to the 1970s. The Fall 2020 Award recipient was Orion Hahn, and the Spring 2021 Abbott Awardee is Elana Espeseth. Congratulations to Orion and Elana. Indeed. 
This year, six of our faculty were honored by a campus committee of peers with special recognition for their teaching and service and research. They received awards from the Board of Regents and UH President for a variety of accomplishments and contributions. Scott Rowland, faculty member in the Department of Earth Sciences, was selected as a 2021 recipient of the Board of Regents Medal for Excellence in Teaching. Among his colleagues, Rowland is viewed as being, quote, the one faculty that all our students know and love, who leads by far the most field trips, a local born and raised bridge to the native Hawaiian community. He strives to motivate each student, sparking their desire to learn on their own and pass on their knowledge. Scott is described as, quote, truly the beating heart of the department's undergraduate program while maintaining a strong research profile, end quote. Congratulations, Scott. All three of the recipients of the 2021 Board of Regents Medal for Excellence in Research were awarded to SOST faculty. Bruce Houghton is the Gordon A. McDonald Professor of Volcanology and a Hawaii State Volcanologist. His research specialty is the eruption dynamics of explosive eruptions, particularly at Kilauea and Stromboli volcanoes. Although at the moment, he's investigating the ongoing eruption on Iceland. Houseland Houghton played a leading role in collaboration with the Hawaii Volcano Observatory in the science response during the 2018 eruption of Kilauea. He works across the interface between volcanoes and society, collaborating with world leading disaster psychologists and sociologists. Fei Fei Jin, Professor of Atmospheric Sciences has made seminal contributions to advance our understanding of many important climate phenomena, including El Nino Southern Oscillation, tropical climate variability, and large scale atmospheric and ocean circulation variability. He has published 240 peer reviewed papers with more than 24,000 citations. In 2020, he was recognized as Web of Sciences highly cited researcher, ranking in the top 1% of citations in the field. Wow. Angelique White, Associate Professor of Oceanography, joined the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education in 2018. Her research focuses on plankton biodiversity, productivity, and elemental cycling in upper ocean ecosystems. Angelique is the lead principal investigator for the Hawaii Ocean Time Series Program and is passionate about sharing the need for sustained ocean observations. Her 2020 TED talk at the National Academy of Sciences was deemed one of the 20 most popular TED talks in 2020. Congratulations to Bruce, Fei Fei, and Angel. Dr. Barbara Bruno, faculty member in the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology, received the UH Manoa Presidential Award for Outstanding Service. Her contributions include cross-campus efforts, such as establishing a summer bridge program at Kapi'olani Community College, leadership with undergraduate research programs, and much, much more. Her vision, empathy, and drive have improved student success, championed diversity and inclusion, and broadened participation among underrepresented students, particularly women and Native Hawaiians. Congratulations, Barb. Jenny Engels, research affiliate with the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Planetology was selected for the 2021 Amy Agbayani Faculty Diversity Enhancement Award. Jenny has been a visionary and compassionate leader in diversity, 
equity and inclusion initiatives at UH Manoa for more than 20 years. She addresses structural change through intersectional and proactive initiatives that have great impact at the department and college level and benefit the entire UH Manoa community. Congratulations, Jenny. It now gives me particular pleasure to introduce Professor Kapua Ala Sprout, a professor of law at the University of Hawaii's William S. Richardson School of Law and the director of Kahuli Ao Center for Excellence in Native Hawaiian Law. Kahuli Ao is an academic center that promotes education, scholarship, community outreach, and collaboration on issues of law, culture, and justice for Native Hawaiians and other Pacific and indigenous peoples. Professor Sprout teaches doctrinal and clinical courses in Native Hawaiian and environmental law and legal writing. Her areas of scholarship and interests include Native Hawaiian law, water law, indigenous rights, climate justice, and public trust doctrine and natural resources protection and management. Professor Sprout has a special interest in empowering and supporting Native Hawaiian culture and communities and works to preserve the resources necessary to perpetuate her culture. I'm very pleased to introduce to you Kapua Sprout, Professor of Law and Director of Kahuli Hau. Aloha, my kua nehana o kalihivai makamoku puni o mano kalani po, aloha mai kakoa po. Mahalo to Chip and to all for the great privilege of being a part of this celebration. SOAS classes of 2020 and 2021, who lo, you have my heartfelt congratulations and respect. And to each of our graduates, ohana, the extended family who fed and housed you who drove you to school or the airport, who supported your field work, checked your data, listened to your conference presentations, who helped with school, or more recently, worked with you from home or Zoomed with you from afar. Congratulations to each of you as well, because this would not have been possible without your support and aloha. For me, all families and students in particular, who have survived the last year of school, work, and life in this era of the virus deserve to celebrate. Because let's be real, this past year has been rough. At least unlike almost anything that most of us have had to endure thus far. People have lost jobs, houses, opportunities, community, and even loved ones. Folks have been isolated or crammed into shared spaces with feeble internet. And who's to say which is worse? After all, these are third world problems. The point is we have endured, you have endured. And I don't know a single person who remains untouched by this global pandemic. So hats off to everyone for making it. We have a ways to go, but for today, for right now, this is your moment. So let's revel in your accomplishment as a SOAS graduate. For Native Hawaiians, we recognize this time as hulihia, a time of great turning, an era of tremendous upheaval and change. Your graduation today is part of that transition, the huli or the shifting that's necessary to get to the next stage. It's exciting, but a tad uncomfortable with change looming on the horizon. But it is also a moment of tremendous opportunity for each of you. During this time of COVID, of Black Lives Matter and the growing awareness of the inequality that underpins society and tests the limits of our democracy. We need you now more than ever. Never did I imagine a time of science deniers, not climate deniers, but actual science deniers on a range of issues. So your vision, your dissertations, your hopes and your talent are what we need to carry us through. These are difficult times for sure, but here you are right now with a diploma in your hand. And with this great privilege of an undergraduate or graduate degree comes tremendous kuleana. Here in Hawaii, we talk 
talk a lot about kuleana. Some think of it as an entitlement, but kuleana actually means responsibility and privilege. And those two aspects are inextricably intertwined. So with your great privilege of an education from the University of Hawaii comes great responsibility. Chief Justice William S. Richardson, a thought leader and the namesake of our law school observed, as long as there are people in our community who consider themselves outsiders or who lack economic security and political power, there will be a cause worth fighting for. As long as education, employment, and the basic necessities of life are less accessible to one segment of our society, there will be noble ends towards which you should turn aim. As long as our environment continues to deteriorate and suffers the ravages of abuse, there will be objectives to be reached. There are things, people, places, and values worth protecting and preserving. CJ shared that insight at a UH graduation 40 plus years ago, but it couldn't be more poignant today. Unfortunately, much work remains. So the ultimate question is, what will you do to awamo your kuleana or do your part? The future is in your hands, but I have a request. Please make a difference. I have the great privilege of being a law professor and the director of Kahuliao our university's Native Hawaiian Law Center. In addition, I've spent the last two decades or so doing impact litigation across our archipelago, using the law as a tool to protect and restore the things that make Hawaii truly special. Our biodiversity, our biocultural resources, all of it. And we continue that work today at Kahuliao through our Native Hawaiian Rights and Environmental Law Clinics, classes where students provide free legal services to communities with the greatest needs. Efforts like supporting the Kaupulehu Marine Reserve on Hawaii Island or securing legal approvals for centuries old lo'ikalo or taro patches in the wake of the 2018 rain bomb and 2021 landslides that pummeled Kauai's North Shore. My work and the work of so many others, attorneys, engineers, educators, resource managers, thought leaders, decision makers, people who endeavor to protect and restore natural resources and the cultural practices relying upon them. All of that depends on scientists like you. So no pressure or anything, but your work provides the baseline, the empirical evidence, the peer reviewed data, the expert opinions and more. Your work in environmental and atmospheric sciences, marine biology, geology and geophysics, oceanography, earth and planetary sciences, ocean and resources engineering can and must save our biggest island, Earth. In a place like Hawaii, where we're surrounded by natural wonders of epic proportions, some forget that we're on the front lines of global warming's impacts. Our shorelines are shrinking, our oceans are rising, and so much more, as you know best. The point is, your work is needed now more than ever. Your work is important to me as an academic and as an attorney who still actively litigates cases, but perhaps your work is most important to me as a Native Hawaiian. For indigenous people like me, makahanaka ike, the learning or the knowing is in the doing. Our cultural practices are place-based and resource specific, which are the foundation for native identity, spirituality, and survival. So if we just take global warming in Hawaii, for example, declining stream flows and rising sea levels threaten fisheries and coastal plant agriculture, like tar patches, while declining forest health impacts natural resources and traditional gathering and other practices, such as hula. Put simply, global warming jeopardizes our ability to continue living Hawaiian culture, whether it's ocean acidification or, or rain bombs, our natural cycles that we have relied upon for a millennia are out of whack. Indigenous cultures depend on place-based resources, so our identity as Native Hawaiians is inextricably tied to our island homes. Put simply, global warming threatens these islands and our very identity as Native Hawaiians. So no pressure or anything, but we need help and I'm counting on you. You are studying the very issues that our communities are grappling with and your work can inform policies to protect and restore resources and perpetuate culture. As my husband often says, knowledge without action is wasted. 
and action without knowledge is dangerous. So for each of you, please use your degrees in service to community. Natural communities, human communities, it's for you to decide or make a difference. Native Hawaiians and other indigenous people have a lot at stake, but we also have a ton to offer. Being in a place for a millennia has its benefits. And as the fourth national climate assessment acknowledged, indigenous people's traditional knowledge systems can play a role in advancing understanding of climate change and in developing more comprehensive adaptation strategies. And I would submit that it must. We're at a crossroads with respect to whether agencies, decision makers, and university researchers will truly partner with communities which offer centuries of indigenous biocultural knowledge, or whether those same scientists will continue along more traditional routes, call it business as usual. I submit that to secure a future that includes human beings on islands in the middle of the Pacific and other oceans, we must come together across our silos and integrate information and resources. I know you can do it. You must. <laughs> Island Earth and the rest of us are counting on you. I have high hopes and great expectations for the amazing work that each of you will do. In all of that, embrace your kuleana, use your degrees to benefit those who need your kokua or help, and do so with great courage, humility, and aloha. Congratulations and mahalo. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Kapua. That was inspired. At this point, we will hear from the department chairs and coordinators of SOAST academic programs. First, Dr. Steve Businger. Chair of the Department of Atmospheric Sciences, Professor Paul Wessel, Chairman of the Department of Earth Sciences, uh, Dr. Mike Guidry, Undergraduate Chair, Global Environmental Sciences, Professor Margaret Ann McManus, Chairwoman of the Department of Oceanography, Professor Celia Smith, Co-Director of the Marine Biology Graduate Program, Professor Evermarie Nosal, Chairwoman of the Department of Ocean and Resources Engineering. Dr. Businger. Good morning, aloha kako. My name is Steve Businger. I'm chair of the Atmospheric Sciences Department. And on behalf of myself, uh, Jen Griswold, the Associate Chair, um, the ATMO, and so asked Ohana, I extend a sincere congratulations to each of you as you graduate uh, with the class of 2021. Our ATMO graduates have been exceptional representatives and I have no doubt that you will continue to serve as worthy ambassadors for um, our department and so asked by succeeding in future endeavors and, and your career. I believe the graduates of the Department of Atmospheric Sciences are unique in that regardless of where you go next, you have the keys to the sky and the opportunity to enrich and protect the lives of those around you. As you embark on your career path, I urge you to always remember SOAST and the growth that we shared. You will always be a part of the Atmo Ohana, so please stay in touch. Mike, aloha. Professor Paul Wessel. Hello, Earth and Planetary Sciences graduates, as well as all SOAS graduating students. My name is Paul Wessel, and I'm the chair of the Department of Earth Sciences. It is with great pleasure that I acknowledge your impressive accomplishments, especially as they continue to be set against the backdrop of a pandemic that seems not quite ready to go away yet. We are extremely proud of you and how you have handled both the academic and real life challenges that have come your way this year. Your perseverance is the model for us to follow and for students that come after you. So on behalf of all Earth and Planetary Sciences faculty and staff, I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. And I thank you for the time that we have had together. Don't be a stranger. Congratulations and mahalo. Dr. Michael Guidry. 
Well, how, 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 everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Guidry, and, and I am tremendously privileged to be the chair of the Undergraduate Global Environmental Science Program in the Department of Oceanography within SOAS. As a SOAS graduate myself, I want to welcome all SOAS program graduates to the HUI. I'd also like to especially congratulate the graduates from GES this past academic year, including Solomon, Zoe, Diana, and Sean, Arissa, Anthony, Corey, Jacob, Andrew, Eric, Tina, Mickey, Glenn, Sean, Kayla, Miriam, Han, Kyle, Lauren, Kayla, Sienna, and Eleanor. Congratulations to all. It was a long and difficult journey, but you've made it. I also want to recognize and congratulate the supporting cast that helped the graduates get to this finish line, especially during this very difficult and trying times. These are the parents, the aunties, the uncles, the spouses, the significant others, friends and pets. Although many times I'm sung without the collective support of these people, your successful path to graduation would have been even more challenging and difficult. So again, on behalf of myself, the GS program, the Department of Oceanography and SOAS, congratulations to all graduates, you made it. Aloha. Professor Margaret Ann McManus. Aloha and welcome. My name is Margaret McManus and I'm the chairwoman of the Department of Oceanography. I recognize you with heartfelt congratulations upon completion of your degrees. Your work here has been a source of deep pride to all faculty, staff, and supporters of the Department of Oceanography. As you carve your path forward into new endeavors, we hope you carry with you memories of positive engagement with scientists and friends who supported and challenged you along the way. We want you to know that you gave as much as you got. Each of you who makes your way through our degree programs leaves an indelible imprint on the area of research, the department, SOEST, and the university. I hope that whatever the future holds for you, that you have as much pride in your history with this university as I hold for you. Aloha. Professor Celia Smith. Aloha all. Uh, all graduates and their ohana. I'm Celia Smith, one of two co-directors for the Marine Biology Graduate Program, a hybrid graduate program between the School of Ocean and Earth Sciences and Technology, as well as the College of Natural Sciences. Our Marine Biology Graduate Programs adds our congratulations to the many that you will receive today. A year in COVID, as we all know, may have been tough at times, but remember how far you've come. You're stronger, smarter, more resilient, now, in the words of the great Nelson Mandela, there is no passion to be found in playing small and settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. Keep moving forward. Congratulations to all. Ohui ho. Professor, Professor Eva Marie Nosal. Aloha, SOAS 2020 and 2021 graduates. Um, I'm Eva Nosal. I'm chair of Department of Ocean and Resources Engineering. And on behalf of the entire ORE Ohana, congratulations on this remarkable milestone and welcome to the strong and vibrant group of SOAS alumni. We're very proud of you and honored to have been a part of your journey and your accomplishments. As a SOAS graduate, you're uniquely poised and prepared to contribute positively to our changing world. Please do so with curiosity, compassion, and courage. We'll be cheering you on and looking forward to hearing your updates as you explore and grow. And to the family and friends of our graduates, congratulations to you as well. And thank you for supporting and encouraging our graduates, our future. Aloha. Thank you, everyone. And now the reason we are here. I'm proud to present the graduates of the School of Ocean and Earth Sciences and Technology. Glenn Arnaud. Kyle Alkai. Tiana Barber 
Arissa Barcinas. Anthony Barrow. Elena Espesa. Joy Fenimore. Lauren Hansen. Kaylee Hedges. Sean Holland. Orion Hahn. Tina Quinn Nguyen. Michaela Johnson. Eric Klingberg. Deep Mohan. Miriam Moreno. Kayla Palmer. Han Quaj. Sienna Santiago. Jordan Schmidt. Andrew Tokuda. Henrik Weiberg. Kayla White. Corey Wong. Eleanor Yuan. Erica Alvarado. Yvonne Barkley. Charles Beebe. Jesse Black. Chloe Blondino. Gwendolyn Brower. Jessica Bullington. Caroline Kaplan. Andrew Chase. Rebecca de Graffenried. Daniel Douglas. Tennille Dudois. Miles Egan. Lucas Ellison. Andy Erickson. Brittany Evans. Kate Folloy. David Frank. Angeles Gallego. Nathaniel Harmon. Michael Henley. Caitlin Jacobs. Jia Jiang. Leishan Jiang. Julianne Kalksma. Mackenzie Latch. Abby Lapointe. Jiakun Liang. Morgan Donnerly Linney. Sean Mahaffey. Trista McKenzie. Anna Mickelson. Antonio Miranda. Kira Monell. Anthony Montgomery. Cameron Morrow. Stefan Rosevsky. Haley Okun. 
Macy Sandford. Connor Shea. Brian Shiro. Mika Siegelman. Linger Sun. Li Chun Tong. Jonathan Tobin. Camilla Tonakini. Kelly Truax. Giannicola Tumino Di Costanzo. Jan Vanderwecken Jr. Brett Walker. Shwanga Yu. Shinping Janga. Wow. What an amazing class. Fantastic. You join an alum, whether you got a bachelor's or a master's or a PhD, thank you for being part of us for the last many years, inspiring us <clears throat> and looking to your future. We congratulate you. And we thank you and your family and, and friends for joining with us in this celebration. Special thanks to Kapua. You truly inspired us as well as some behind the scenes who made this digital remote event possible. And I'll call out Marcy Grabowski, Heather Saito, Ross Ishida, and the Sost Miley Mentoring Bridge. This concludes our ceremony. Please take Kapua's words to heart. Stay safe, go forth, and do great things. Goodbye, everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you.